All right, guys, it's late. I'm happy as I don't know what because we pulled that game out. Um, am I ready to say anything further? I don't know. I'm just I'm just going to sit here and absorb the victory and be happy for the victory because there was a lot of great stuff on there and there's a lot of bad stuff on there. But let me let me let me let me break it down to you quickly, you know, and then on uh, in Tuesday of this week we'll go in depth on what I'm talking about. But the turnovers, the turnovers, the turnovers, the turnovers, the turnovers. My God, six turnovers. It was it was amazing to see that. Especially you could tell that that was something that we worked on in the offseason tremendously. You could tell on every tackle there was a hand in there to try to jar that ball out of there, to strip that ball or what or whatever. So it was amazing to see all the all those turnovers and the fact that we worked on something and we see it in in fruition out there on the football field. It it, it was it was tremendous. Now, don't fool yourself. We're not going to get that every week. So don't don't say this defense has changed. We're going to get those turnovers every week. Don't fool yourself. Because those 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 tip passes, the hit on on the on the on the uh on the punt, you know, stuff like that was just very fortunate things. We're not going to get those tip balls every week. We're not going to get a, a, a hit on the shoulder every week or whatever. However, I'm going to tell you directly how those turnovers won the game for us. Clearly, it was because of the turnovers, and it was because of the running back. David Wilson, clearly, those two fumbles were from the Dallas Cowboys defense. Barry Church, and I think it was Nick Hayden, I, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, and then Barry Church ran in an end zone. Those two fumbles were created by the Dallas Cowboys defense. It was no fortunate action. It was no tips. It was no, the, the dude, the, the Giants made mistakes. Those were forced by the Dallas Cowboys defense. And the result of that, their starting running back was pulled. Their starting running back was pulled. And when that happened, at the end of the game, there was a disconnect between Peyton, uh, Eli Manning and his backup running back on that little dump pass. The running back didn't turn around fast enough and then threw his arm out there and knocked the ball right in the, right in the car's hand. If that was the starting quarter run, running back who has practiced on that and got most of the reps in, in practice doing that, it may have been a different story. But the fact is, the Dallas Cowboys defense under Monty Kiffin Rip that ball out enough to get the starting running back pulled, and the backup had to go in and duty, and he wasn't, and the backup wasn't completely ready. So it was one because of the turnovers, period. And that was absolutely amazing to see, knowing that we did not get many last year. Now on the flip side of the defense, before we. Go and say this is the greatest defense in the world because I'm getting tweets and people talking about the defense. They moved the ball on us like crazy. They racked up 500 yards on the defense. Eli had 450 passing. That is unacceptable. We should have been dancing around on that sidelines with that many turnovers in that football game in the fourth quarter. It should have been just a boring football game at that point. But the fact that Eli was walking down the field on us like that is really unnerving. Really. So I've got to, I've got to go with the good. And I told you before the game, I was going to take this game and I was going to tell you the good and tell you the bad. The good was great. And the good won the football game for us. The bad, we're probably, I think, uh, only one team... Gave up more yards than us. I think we're going to be 31st in the league in, 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 in yardage given up after this week. So that's not good. That's not good at all. So, uh, like I said, I'm absorbing this victory. I'm happy. Um, the Giants are basically who I thought they were. You know, they're not a, a well-oiled machine right now. Their defense is not very good or whatever. So let's just move forward. We got the Kansas City Chiefs next week. They're no joke. Look me in my eyes. The Chiefs are no joke. So don't get all cocky.
cocky and thinking we're going to kill the Chiefs. The Chiefs are no joke. Get your head back together. Don't be cocky. And let's go in the next week and let's beat the Chiefs. All right, peace.